space station. It's invisible, helps us monitor the arrival and departure of visiting vehicles. And this awesome view over the shoulder of our commander and pilot, Mike Hawkins and Victor Glover, just monitoring the mission. Dragon is flying autonomous. They'll conduct their final checks, repair, for arrival at the International Space Station. A very clear view from Crew Dragon. That looks incredible. <laughs> Again, this is a view looking at Dragon from station from the Node 2 forward port that Dragon will be docking to today. Station Station Space Ground 2 in step 2 of 1.104. I've just commanded. On our pop reference stream to destination docking port, and I see our pop not receiving Dragon 2 data. From the Node 2 port that Dragon will be docking to, you can see the sunlight hitting Dragon as it gets closer and closer. SSC 17 is back up and running for you. We're working on four now. In addition, let us know when your review is complete and you are ready for docking. and I saw SSC working as giving me good range. Your first with the soft capture ring already extended. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture confirmed. Dragon copies and we see the same. Resilience SpaceX, docking sequence is complete. Welcome to the ISS, Resilience. And SpaceX, this is Resilience. Excellent job right down the center. SpaceX and NASA, congratulations. This is a new era of operational flights to the International Space Station from the Florida coast. And ISS, Sergey, Sergey, and Kate, we'll see you real soon. of Dragon Approach photos are available for you on SSC-8. Ruben's confirming the A-pass hatch is open and now we can see it for ourselves. Dragon seeing Kate inside of that vestibule. SpaceX, this is Dragon on the big loop, 6.6, 4.400, hatch is open. We copy, hatch open, great to hear. And there they are, first across the hatch, Mike Hopkins. And here's Victor Glover. You heard the crew here, uh, the team here on, in Mission Control cheering to see them come, come across the hatch. Total Expedition 64 crew to a total of seven. It's been an incredible journey, and uh, it's it's really amazing that this is March, uh, marking the start of of operational. Uh, crew rotation missions to the International Space Station from the Florida coast. And, and so it was uh, it was an amazing ride. I, I can't tell you uh, how excited we were when uh, that rocket lifted up the pad and, and then the last 27, and 27 hours have, has gone really smooth actually. And so we are so excited to be here. Um, we are humbled and uh, we are excited to be a part of uh, this great expedition. And so we are looking forward to the next six months and can't wait to get started. I just want to tell you how proud we are of you. We're expecting a lot from you, <laughs> a lot of good work up there. Um, not only are we proud in this nation of you, but our international partners are extremely proud of you. And I know I have some folks in Japan that also want to give you some greetings. Station, this is Yamakawa. How do you hear me? Yamakawa-san, we hear you loud and clear. This is International Space Station. Thank you, Noguchi-san. We were very much excited about your launch this morning. It inspired courage and delight of all Japanese citizens who bear up COVID-19 pandemic. 
Anyway, I really feel relieved by your safe arrival to the station now. Noguchi-san, it is very sig significant for JAXA that you are on board the first operational spacecraft of Crew Dragon and was launched from the American soil. I believe that this is the outcome of the, of the long-standing partnership with NASA and all the, all the other international partners. I also believe that your efforts at ISS from today will take on more importances, importance on the ISS utilization and operations and for future international space exploration beyond the, the low Earth orbit to the Moon and Mars. We are always behind you. Good luck and enjoy your time in space.